Hi everyone, welcome back. If you are new to the channel, I would encourage you to like and subscribe. So I would appreciate the support and you can get more content of what I do, uh, which is to review technology and also, as you can see, I'm an action figures collector. So I, will, I would appreciate the support. Um, as you can see, if you have been following the other uh, videos that you will have right there in the link description, um, you see that I have put a couple of RGB lights, but let me just better show you. If you can see, I still need some lights there for the collection itself and also the decor. So what I will do for the next following videos is to actually light up the collection, put something there which I will right now, and also uh, you can see that we have a nice light back of the desk and also the other uh, triangles there, but we do need something uh, behind the monitor. So what we will do in the following uh, videos is to put something there and also help with the light lighting here on it, the actual collection. So let's focus on the corner right there. So this is the solution to our corner problem. The Gobi Lyra floor lamp. What are we going to do with it? We are going to unpack it and see its contents. So let's first start by doing that. Okay, first thing that comes outside of the box, manuals, nice, quick startup guide, so that you can see what I'm pulling out, this is power cord, What else do we have here? All right. Nice control and stuff to help it stand, I guess. Let's put those boxes. You see, it's a large box. Came out wrong. Okay. This seems to be nice bar stabilizers of sort. What else do we get? <laughs> this is big. I thought it was smaller. And I'm guessing this is the controller. It has a 3M. actual LED stripes, do I say? Let's go the way, show me. Oops. Nice. It is already as you can see, it just needs to be connected so the, you can see the LED lights from within it. And I'm guessing these 
boys will be holding it. All right, looks like we're set. We got this, we got the lamp stand. It's really, it has a really nice finishing touch to it. So I'm guessing this is where we're connecting it. So we will follow these little guys here and make sure we get it right. So we have pretty much everything we need here. The stabilizers, power cord, some other stuff, and the nice control. I, I really dig this. I'm really digging it, yeah. So I thought this was going to be smaller, but I like it. And also the base it doesn't, you know, move that much. So once you put it there, look, you can see it's really hard to move. So let's take a look at it. The user manual itself, which contains how to operate the thing. Really nice. And the thing that really concerns us right now is the quick start guide. We're going to follow it to the letter. There are simple steps, as you can see. And we are going to start step one, step two, and then follow up on all the rest. So I'm going to fast forward as I go through it. And I'm going to stop for special remarks. Let's keep the dice rolling, shall we? Good thing that I didn't mention is this brings all the tools you need. Even a screwdriver with everything. So <laughs> small but nice. So let's start. In the box, we got everything. Assemble the lamp pole, align the three metal slots in the correct sequence, and connect them with the three metal connecting parts. Use the sharp screws in the corresponding holes to secure each connecting part of the metal slots. Step one. We're going to prepare it. Step two. Connect it. Step three. Connect the lights. Step four, put them into place. Connect it. It looks pretty straightforward. So let's start. You use two and two. So this is how we are going to install it.
Now you see we have the first part and the second done. So we're going to, to use this one to connect it to the base. This special mark, these ones are going like this. Now we have the base ready to be connected. You see the same pattern? the one we have here in this entrance you want to watch out for the this too we won't do it with the small ones we will do it with this Make sure, see the correct way to insert it, this side goes inside.
pry, apply a little bit of force to it. As you can see, go up. making sure that our base is secured. You see how Space. Just apply a little bit of pressure. Even though the base is there, we need to make sure that this fits perfectly so. You might think that it'll be an excess of it, but actually you just need to make sure to come all the way up and before making a 75% of it, make sure that the end also sticks. And here on is just to make sure that properly secured. So if you can see Ooh, this is big. Looks like a lightsaber. <laughs> Now this is optional. And let's take a look at this. I'm gonna have to open it and see what it contains, but magnetic. So this is optional. You can put the controller there. Nice. So the only thing we need right now is to test it. Let's 
go to the corner and actually do that. So we're going to the corner where this is. Let's place it here. And obviously the lights should be facing the corner itself. And it's really nice. We just need to plug in the light. Nice, it automatically started. This looks awesome. Turn off lights. Okay. Nice. So now you can see it's really. Let's choose color. Looks like we need to pull this out of it. I don't know what this is let's try again shall we turn off turn on this button okay <laughs> turn on turn off this is for music let me see This is so freaking cool. <laughs> and I'm not even talking like loud. I'm just whispering. And it still functions that this is awesome. Okay. Oh, how to how to remove it? Clicking in colors. Alright. I clicked in color. And it it's giving a really nice red. Yep. This is awesome. What if we press this one? This one is to dim the lights. All right. And what about this one? Nice. Cool and warm. Let's click on warm. And if we want to cool, really, really awesome. So if you see, now we have. A really nice setup. <laughs> Turn on lights. Okay. Perfect. So now that corner has a little bit of a presence. <laughs> Next thing we're going to do is just to make sure that we have some lights here as well. And probably target the back of the monitor. Although, as you may know, it's curved. So, regardless, I feel happy with it. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to connect it to Alexa as well so I can group them and turn them on and off whenever we want to. So I really hope this helps you. And let's put this little fellow here. Nice. Well, I have uh, connected the lamp to their app. You can download their app uh, from the App Store or Google Play, what have you. And uh, you can apply so many cool features like different gradients, uh, topics, anything you want to do. So in this case, I wanted to showcase different colors like this one is called Rainbow. Uh, but just to let you know, it's really nice. And also, it is um, advisable to have the control as close to the lamp as possible whenever you are pairing it. And you can connect it, as I said previously, uh, with Alexa and uh, Siri, you know, the usual. 
So just a safety manager, we have uh, 1500 lumens and this is really powerful. So this was the Globy Lyra floor lamp. I really hope you enjoyed uh, watching me <laughs> install it. For sure I'm enjoying it right now in my corner here. It looks really awesome. So anyways, as you can see, these are really vivid colors. So I'm really happy with the results so far. Still, there's some light that needs to be installed in the uh, glass cabinet where I have my small collection because I have to bring half of my original collection to the States. So this is looking nice. So thank you so much for the support again.